hello guys today in this uh, tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can build out a instagram uh, picture and video downloader for the user so basically guys this is the node.js application node.js express application where basically we have this uh, interface out there which is built using bootstrap and basically i built out a api guys which allows you to automatically unlimited uh, download the user profile pic or post pic or video as well so let's suppose we are targeting this user and let's suppose we ta want to download this image the profile uh, this post which i am targeting here so let's suppose i will simply copy this link here and this is the tool that i developed inside node.js express and ejs which is template engine so i will refresh this tool so i just need to provide the URL of the post guys which I need to download the profile picture of this so there will be a download button out there so as as soon as I click this download button it will take some time and in the background guys it will return me the response here if you check the command line it will take some time and after that it will return a response to me and after that uh, it will download the image as a jpg image so it is taking some time guys after that you will see that basically this image is downloaded and if I open this image you will see that this image is downloaded from the Instagram API so you don't need to provide any sort of API key guys you can download this unlimited number of times you can see basically all this information is returned to us inside this JSON response we are getting this object right here and we are basically getting this uh, URL where this image is hosted on Instagram servers we are giving the uh, getting the extension which is jpg here and the meta title some more information about the image which is the title information all that stuff thumbnail hosting as well so guys you can repeat this for any image let's suppose video as well you can target videos as well that's a cool little thing about that so let's suppose we again want to target this image i can simply copy the link and once again we can paste it and uh, it will take some time 5 to 10 seconds and then once again it will return this json response and now you can see that this image is successfully downloaded so guys you can see it's a perfect solution you have uh, seen many tools on the internet you can basically uh, purchase the full script that i written in the description of the video i have given the link at a very reasonable price I have uh, uh, just built out this Node.js Express script you can basically buy a domain name and your, this tool will be great more users will come to your website and you can basically earn a lot of money using AdSense and Zoic so I will be showing you how to build this tool inside Node.js Express in this video step by step but still if you have problem you can purchase the full source code with all the dependencies uh, the Node.js Express so let's start building this application and also let me tell you the video as well let's suppose you target any sort of video let's suppose this video uh, we want to download this video so we will simply copy this link and i will plug the link here guys simply plug the link as this is a video guys now basically this video will be downloaded so it will take some time you will see mp4 is returned to us so you can see that this information is returned to us which is this url and it will take some time and you can now see the mp4 video is returned to us so now this video is you can see it is playing here you can see that so this is basically the video guys which is playing right here so you can even download videos as well from this tool guys so the link is given in the description i have written this complete script i will be showing you step by step in this video so let's start building the script after you purchase it guys you will get the zip file and this will be the directory structure that you will get after you purchase it insta zip you will get after you purchase this source code so let's start building this application so first of all i will show you guys how i build this so i will go into my i will simply delete all that source code and start from scratch so basically guys first of all you need to uh, require the express and body parser and after this we will basically make a new app which will be an express app and we will basically give the port number guys here which is uh, 3000 and we will use the body parser middleware guys so body parser url encoded 
and here we will basically provide extended to false and then we will set the view engine we will set the view engine to be EJS so we are using EJS template engine so after this guys we do need to start this application on that port number and we will have the callback function guys so we will simply write here the app is listening on port number 3000 so after this guys we will basically have a get request so whenever you open the home page guys we will basically load the template which will be response.render and we will load the index template so right here inside the views folder just create index.ejs so right here guys basically this will be a simple index.html file here and here we will show the form to the user and for building this application guys we do need to basically uh, include the bootstrap CDN so simply paste this uh, bootstrap CDN like this and right here we will have the container class of bootstrap and inside this guys we will have the heading here which will be Instagram downloader and basically guys we will be having a simple form here so there will be a form element and method will be post and action here will be action slash download so we will make basically the post request guys so the method here will be post so method is post and basically guys we will have uh, the form group class of bootstrap and right here we will basically allow the user to enter the URL so it can be either for a post or a video so we just need to write the URL here and then guys we will have the input field input type uh, text and we will give it a class of form control it's a bootstrap class name parameter we will give guys which is URL and uh, that's all here we will say placeholder enter URL and it should be required that's all so just after this guys we will have basically for a simple button which will submit the form so we will say download so here button type will be submit and we will give it a bootstrap class btn btn primary so now if you refresh the application guys so what will happen basically we will say node more index.js so app is listening on port 3000 and now we will have this form here so I think the bootstrap okay link relative is style sheet okay just add this so if you refresh now guys you will see this is the bootstrap uh, field out there the interface is complete now we just need to make this post request guys which will listen on this request which is down or slash download so right here when we need to do this so we will simply say app dot post and we will say slash download and basically guys this will be an async function request response and we will simply get the URL which the user has submitted request.body.url and here we will simply check guys if URL is not valid in that case we will basically have this method which is starts with it's a JavaScript method and basically this will be the structure of the URL we just need to check if this is a structure Instagram dot com slash so if the URL doesn't match this structure in that case we will basically render out a error on the screen so this error we will simply pass here which will be invalid URL so there will be this validation guys so now basically we can show this error right here at the top of the form we can say response sorry locals dot error so we can basically define this inside our EJS which is a template engine so there is a syntax here we can follow the syntax which is percentage sign and inside if condition we can say locals dot error and uh, then we can simply here say 
we can also surround this and inside this we can basically have a alert danger alert that we can now put the error which we have like this the variable this is valid EJS code guys so now if you don't write anything here let's suppose uh, if I write like this so what will happen here I just need to refresh here uh, let me see guys what is the problem here okay I forgot to return sorry guys uh, after that you just need to write return here because we do need to return from the statement so after you write this uh, let me see what is the problem here just follow this approach sorry let me just write this once again slash download okay yeah you need to put this not sign here that's the problem so once again if you refresh the application guys if you basically write an invalid URL you will see this alert message that invalid URL you do need to provide correct URL in this structure like this so after you do this guys now we will simply fetch we will simply say insta API we will call this API we will pass the URL this returns a promise guys I have built this API so if you purchase it you will find this code of insta API in the description so this will basically return the response guys so cons console log response so I have attached all the insta API files in the description guys so if you uh, purchase it you will get all these files so after this guys what should happen if I uh, basically uh, just have a valid link in the console this information will be returned to me you will see that basically this uh, URL will be returned to me which is meta information this is a title of the post here the thumbnail the URL if I po just have another URL you can see now this will be a, another URL which will be there you will see that all this information will be returned as a JSON response now basically guys we can display this information inside uh, uh, we can basically say in a if condition that if the response coming if the URL extension property if it is equal to mp4 in that case we will perfectly know that it's a video file that we are downloading so we will make a function guys which will actually download the file for us we will say response and then we will pass the response URL actual URL that we need to download and third argument we will pass the extension of the image that's all so in the else scenario guys this will be a uh, image again we will call the same function response and we will pass the sorry let me response.url and we will pass the URL and this time the extension will be jpg for the image file because you can see we have this if else condition now we can simply make this method guys which is download file it will basically have three arguments response URL and the extension so inside this function guys what we need to do is that basically we have imported the request we do need to import our request module as well guys so for downloading the files so we do need to require it so you need to install this dependency as a third party dependency after this guys we can make use of this request module we can pass the URL and the second argument we can pass is the encoding parameter here so we can simply say encoding to null and right here in the third argument we can simply say the error message response body so here this will be the callback function which will be returned here and right here we will have we will simply compare if any sort of error take place here we will simply display the error message so we also have the status code as well here so we can simply compare this inside the if condition here if the status code is not equal to 200 in that case error message will be taking place so this is slightly compl uh, complicated code here so I will simply copy paste this code 
you can purchase the full source code i have given the link here in the description so right here after this so what i will do is that i will simply paste this code here of the function this is the whole function here so basically this will actually download the file guys actu uh, the instagram picture and the video that you requested in the background it will open the url and it will download the link as an attachment so we are simply setting some headers right here content type header and we are dynamically putting the extension which we are passing here which is mp4 or jpg and simply we are setting these headers out there which is content type content disposition attachment so lastly we are sending a res response as the body here response dot send so if i now refresh the application and if i try to basically provide the url click on download and simply guys it will fetch the instagram this is a post image if i open this you will now see this image is successfully downloaded and uh, in this way guys you can go to instagram you can basically click any post here that you need to download and uh, simply copy the link and plug this inside this tool website and click download and it will simply download this image it will take some time 5 6 seconds and then it will download this as a jpg image it also works for the videos as well this is a nice thing about this so you can purchase the full source code guys if you like this you can basically deploy this tool on your own website and many users will come to your website and you will be able to earn a lot of money using tools ad websites as well so basically you will see we can simply copy this link here simply paste so if you simply download here you will see that the video is downloaded you will see that so thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream